Hi guys, I'm Andy and welcome back to Backpacking UK. If hiking, backpacking and wild camping your thing, please hit that subscribe button because that's what this channel's all about. Right, today we're talking about budget tents versus expensive tents. And in this case, we're talking about budget brand Nature Hike against the big brand Hilleberg the Tent Maker. Now what we want to discuss is the benefits and the drawbacks of both brands. So we're not just gonna sit here and diss Nature Hike, because it's not like that at all. There's also drawbacks of Hilleberg too. So the first one, let's get the big one out of the way. The price is just an enormous difference. So Hilleberg Solo, 800 pound. Hilleberg Acto, 600 pound. Nature Hike Cloud Up One, 115. Uh, Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is about £170 at the moment and the Nature Hike Monga 2 which I've also had experience with that's about £130. There's an enormous difference between the two. Now what I'll go through with you is benefits of a Hilleberg over the Nature Hike don't really warrant that price difference apart from a few special circumstances. So the main difference in performance between these two tents solely depends on the weather. And by the weather, I'm talking about wind, rain, cold, and I'm talking about snow. So the first thing is a true four season tent. Now there's lots of budget brands out there which you know claim that their tents are four season. But they're just not, they're just not proper four season tents. They're close, you know, they, there's lots of three plus season tents, but not true four season tents. When you look at the Hilleberg tents, you really do get that fly going right down to the floor. You get a true solid inner mesh and the tents are heavily engineered. These sort of budget brand tents, like these nature hike tents, they're still fantastic and they'll still give a good show in bad weather. When you go out, if it's really, really cold, you're gonna struggle, you're gonna get cold, you're gonna feel wind getting into your tent and I think you're gonna have some sleepless nights if the snow or heavy rain starts coming your way. So next is resistance to wind. Now, again, that's where you get the big differences between these two tents. Uh, Hilleberg Solo is so heavily engineered, it is really good in the wind. And by that, I mean it's got three poles for a start. For a solo tent, having three poles is almost unheard of. It's got loads of clips where the fly clips onto those poles. It's also got big sockets where the poles go in. On the other hand, if you take like the Cloud Peak 2, it's only got really three or four clips on each side to clip onto the pole. Um, and it doesn't really have sort of sleeves as such that it goes in. Um, so yeah, in the wind, it will do well to a degree, but then after that, you know, I'd get really worried sleeping in one of these tents. The other thing, it's only a little thing, but it's guy lines. Um, Hilleberg tend to use three mil guy lines. Nature Hike tend to use two mil. Again, most of the time, you're gonna be absolutely fine. Um, but if you're really in that bad weather, you're gonna want some seriously strong guy lines because if, if the weather turns and the wind starts battering you, you know, you're gonna need all the strength that tent has to offer. So the strength of these tents differ quite a lot. I've said about the guy lines, the poles, poles are thicker on the Hilleberg tents compared to the Nature Hike tents. But you're only talking about one or two mil. It's not enormous. But strength's not just about poles, um, not just about guy lines, it's also about pegs. To be honest, the nature height pegs, I think, just as good as the Hilleberg tents. So there's not a lot of difference there. Next, we've got the fabric. Hilleberg uses a special like, Curlon 1200 fabric for their uh, red tent range. 
Um, but to be fair to Nature Hike, they still use a 20D fabric. I mean, that's that's pretty good, pretty strong. Um, you know, I doubt the Nature Hike tents are going to last 20 years like Hilleberg tents. But, you know, they're not five minute tents. They're not five trip tents. They'll last a fair amount of time. But speaking about durability, one thing is they're just made differently. Like, they really are. These are really well engineered. Um, these aren't bad. These aren't bad. Um, but certainly if you're a really regular camper, um, it's probably is worth investing in a high-end tent like a Hilleberg. But for sort of recreational use, you know, if you're going to use your tent, say, five times a year, you don't need a Hilleberg. A nature hike tent will be absolutely fine. So let's talk about design. And this is where nature hike, rather really clever or maybe really naughty, um, but there isn't much design difference between the two. I mean, this Nature Hike Cloud Peak 2 is pretty much heavily borrowed from the Hilleberg Alak 2. The Nature Hike Monga 2 is very, very close to the MSR Hubba Hubba NX210. And from what I've seen anyway, I don't know if it's official, but the Nature Hike Cloud Up 1 does look quite like a big Agnes tent as well. So Nature Hike tent design is really high up there. I mean, it's not a budget tent design. They've really nailed that tent design. Um, and then Hilleberg, in some ways, like the Solo, I absolutely love that tent design. It's absolutely brilliant. Hilleberg Acto, it's a bit dated now, really. You know, when you look at all these sort of Chinese tents coming out and you look at the Acto and you think, you know, it's, it's been around for 20 years now, could do with a bit of an update. So what about quality and craftsmanship? Well, they do differ and this is massive. So my experience of nature hike tents uh, is really good. I can't really fault them if I'm honest. You know, I haven't had any defects. You know, some people have emailed me saying, oh, that tent's rubbish, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's just not. It's just not. But I accept, you know, once you're looking at mass produced Chinese tents, I doubt the quality controls all that. Um, but certainly in my experience, you know, I can't fault them really. Hilleberg. And this is really what you're paying for. These tents are so well made. They really are. They take a lot of time to make. I should think the quality control is just off the scale with these. I bet there's zero defects by customers. Um, and to be fair, that's why Hilleberg got the reputation that they have. Um, just because their tents are so good and that's backed up by their customer service as well. Now let's talk about weight. So you pay top money for a top end brand tent. It's going to be lighter than a budget brand, isn't it? Um, no, not even close. So this Nature Hike Cloud Up One with a footprint weighs one and a half kilos. This Hilleberg Acto weighs 1.7 kilos without footprint. And this Hilleberg Solo weighs 2.4 kilos without footprint. So yeah, there's clearly here a trade-off between four season high quality, strong, durable tents and budget brand tents of the same size. And talking about size, have a look at this. So this is cloud up one. This is the Hilleberg Acto. And then this is the Hilleberg Solo. <laughs> it's just completely different. And if I look at my nature hike cloud peak two 
versus my Hilleberg Solo, again, just totally different. But that makes an enormous difference when you're backpacking. Um, I use um, an Osprey Kestrel 48, so a 48 litre backpack. Um, there's obviously, there's only so much I can get in there. And when I'm taking my Hilleberg Solo, I have to be really, really careful um, what else I take. And quite often, what you'll see is I'll have to have a dry bag strapped to my backpack, which isn't ideal really, but also the Cloud Peak 2 tent weighs two and a half kilos. So it's basically a, similar to my Hilleberg Solo and it's a similar sort of design. However, it's much, much, much bigger. Hilleberg Solo is a fantastic one person tent. It's absolutely brilliant, loads of space for me. When I took my Cloud Peak 2 out, you took in two doors, two vestibules, and just so much bigger inside. It, it, it's, it's just so much bigger and it weighs the same. So I've had some questions saying, oh, you know, my whatever tent's as good as yours. And I've certainly <laughs> looked on uh, lots of other sort of YouTube content creators out there um, where people are getting stuck into them with high-end tents saying, you know, my blah, 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 that's just as good as yours. You know, you don't need a tent like that. So I've always thought, well, they're wrong. They're wrong, they're clearly wrong. But what I'm really telling you here is, they're not necessarily wrong. Now, if you're camping in the woods or at low level, or you like camping on nice mild days, budget tents are, I think, are actually better than expensive tents or better than Hillebergs, right? And I'll tell you why, one, they're smaller, two, they weigh less. Now that's, that can be a big, 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 big deal. You've also got to consider risk. You know, if you're going out in the woods or low level or mild days, you've got no risk of really getting cold, you've got no real risk of wind, no real risk of the weather turning and snow. So budget brands are just as good. However, what I have to say to you out there is if you're looking at camping in the mountains um, from vast experience, the conditions change so fast and so often. I mean, they just sometimes it's just change after change after change. And when you're up there in the mountains, you can get absolutely battered by the wind, battered by the rain, and you can quite often get snow at times of year where you never thought you would get snow. And that's when, for me, you can't beat tents like a Hilleberg. You cannot beat it. It's the, for me, it's the confidence it gives you. You know, if I'm taking one of these tents out with me and you see like a weather front coming in and you think, oh my God, what's, what's coming our way? And then the wind starts coming up and then the rain starts coming in. I'm really confident that I've got a tent that can deal with those conditions. And I don't worry. And I actually find that I'm enjoying myself more because I'm not having to worry about my tent. And out of all my gear, when you're out wild camping, tent's the number one. So what I'd love is fill that comment box up with your opinions. It'd be really nice to know your opinions. Don't make them too strong because hopefully what I've shown is there are positives and drawbacks of both. But in their own right, both nature hike tents and Hilleberg tents are cracking tents, absolutely brilliant tents. Now I'm a huge promoter of value for money. Value for money is number one on my list. And with that, quite often you'll see me dealing with budget brands because that's where the value for money tends to be. But there are instances where value for money can be found on high-end brands. Now, 
if you're camping in the middle of winter, in the snow, with strong winds, I think you're probably going to feel like you've had some sort of value for money out of a Hilleberg tent. Likewise, if you're a regular camper and you're hitting those wild camps all the time, you know, you would look at a Hilleberg like an investment. So be careful not to judge Hilleberg and Hilleberg owners <laughs> too much um, because there is a method in the madness. However, there can only be one winner and for me, I just think Nature Hike have nailed it. You know, rightly or wrongly, they do have hev heavily borrowed designs. But value for money is just off the scale. Um, and I think these are crack intents. But what I would say with these budget brands, I'd just say be careful. Be careful in high winds. Be careful in the snow. Be careful in the mountains and be careful in heavy rain. But I hope you got something out of this tent review. Budget tents versus ex expensive tents. Hilleberg versus Nature Hike. You can check out the reviews on all these tents on my YouTube channel. So have a look at those. And hopefully I'll see you on that mountain soon. Cheers.